Hello everyone. So today in this video lecture, uh, we will see user defined functions in C programming. In previous video, we have uh, studies what is function, uh, what are the types of functions, okay, what are the use of functions. So in this video, let's see user defined functions. So in user defined function, uh, I will explain you one simple example, okay, and uh, this example include what is function prototype, uh, function calling, function definition, uh, how to pass argument to a function, that, it, uh, that, that means uh, just a part of, okay, we will not, uh, go, uh, we will not uh, uh, explain everything about, but it's just, uh, just uh, as a part of explanation. I will uh, I will make separate video uh, related to passing arguments to function okay written statement okay so now let's see one example over here now uh, this example is of uh, calculate sum of two numbers okay so first of all over here this uh, okay in this example I have excluded uh, include statement okay so just you assume that uh, that I have included already okay so first what is my program that is calculate sum of two numbers okay now just see this okay integer cal sum okay so over here this cal sum this is name of my function that is calculation of sum okay and over here you can see uh, this uh, integers are uh, these numbers are passed as an argument okay now let's see what it is it is function prototype okay function prototype now function prototype uh, it is why why uh, why you have to declare function like this okay over here you can see we are just defining prototype of a particular function that means how how what is name of uh, uh, is this function is returning some values what kind of value it is returning uh, this function is uh, needs uh, any argument or not okay if it is then just specify what type of argument it is requiring okay so over here you can see this is my function name that is cal sum okay and it requires three arguments of integer type and it is returning integer value okay so in function prototype you have to define return value name of function and argument okay and after that you have to put semicolon over here now why it is required because whenever compiler compile your program uh, and if this name comes in uh, uh, comes uh, 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 if this name comes then compiler will think okay this function uh, this function is going to be used somewhere in the program so it just remember that thing uh, if uh, we uh, not follow this kind of a prototype then what uh, what uh, what could happen uh, you are just calling some function okay, okay? but its definition is not uh, yet arrived while compiling so it is just a matter of that so that's why function prototype is needed so that compiler can uh, it can understand it can get the, get the point that okay this function is used somewhere in program okay now again okay as i said you have to specify the written type okay uh, just like a void main method but uh, you can define a uh, written type as a void or integer main okay where written value is integer just like that over here written type is specified as integer now here it comes our main method and you can see this function prototype is defined before void main method okay that means uh, in inclusion part when we include our libraries for example stdio.h conio.h okay so first comes that part after that you have to define function prototype whatever the function you are needed you have to just define it like that now after that inside this void main function i have declared some variables and message enter any three numbers okay so after that you can see over here this statement is sum is equals to cal sum a b c now just understand this statement this statement is called function calling okay 
so over here you can see user has uh, uh, you uh, over here user have to input three numbers okay which is stored in a b c and we want to perform summation of these numbers so as i as i have told you this is function that you are going to uh, use to perform calculation okay so it is just a simple function calling okay and you can see what is the structure of this so over here function name and you just need to pass actual uh, variable uh, you want to perform summation of okay which followed by semicolon so remember one point in function call there is semicolon okay in function prototype also there is semicolon now why we needed some kind this kind of variable because as as as, um, as defined in function prototyping this function is returning integer type of value okay this function is returning something so that's why you have to you have uh, you have to put one mechanism to hold that particular return value that's why over here uh, i have declared sum variable you can see uh, sum is of integer okay and sum is equals to calsum abc for example if user have entered 10 20 and 30 okay so 60 will be written by this function and it will be stored in this sum variable okay now uh just see this part of uh, i will uh, make another value another video of uh, how to pass argument but over here let's just see what is actual argument and what is formal argument okay so over here whenever you call particular function okay whenever you call particular function and at that time you pass variables over that so these are called actual arguments okay and uh, once you receive your calculation you are just going to print it out okay now we have seen function prototype uh, we have called that particular function but where is function definition okay so let's see now over here we are just defining that particular function okay and we are defining that is why it is called user define function so you can see over here return type is specified it is returning integer type of value okay it can be any data type it can be double character that means whatever you are perform in returning it depends on that okay so integer after that function name function name it, it could be anything okay as per your requirement but you have to follow some rules to define identifiers for a function and variable and inside this now over here you can see over here we have uh, uh we have defined formal arguments okay formal arguments so these are the actual arguments that means actual numbers okay and this actual numbers whenever we call particular function this uh, this variables it uh, variables value is saved into this temporary variable that is inside this function okay so scope of this number is in this function so it is called as formal arguments okay for example if a is equals to 10 so whenever i call this function a will be stored in x if b is equals to 20 so 20 will be stored into y if c is equals to 30 then 30 will be stored into z like that okay so you have to be uh, very careful Uh, while ordering particular argument okay if you are return if you are if you need to save value of a into x then order should be proper now inside this function i have declared one variable d okay so d is equals to x plus y plus z so what happens whenever we call particular function this actual arguments pass to this formal arguments and we perform whatever we needed to perform and okay after that this is my written statement you can see and why it is returning because uh, we have defined this function like this okay we can also uh, print some over here but this function is returning value and we we are printing in void main function that is why oh, and you can see this return d okay and what is data type of d that is integer so you can now relate it with uh, return type of this particular function that is why over here it is also integer it is all also integer 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 okay so this all thing okay starting from this to the here okay it is called a function definition 
function definition okay so till now we have seen what is function prototype okay function call written type of function actual argument remember this point whenever you call particular function over there you have to pass actual argument and this actual arguments value is passed to that particular function at definition of a function okay these are called formal arguments and this one is a written statement now let's see output of this so enter any three numbers so user have entered 10 20 30 and sum is equals to 60 okay so this statement is from void main function okay so this is user defined function structure of a user defined function these are the part of whenever you deal with function okay so i hope you understood this video and enjoy bye bye